Hi, this is John Clements uh, for the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Today is Tuesday, August 11th, 2020. I'm at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard in Belchertown, Massachusetts. And quickly, I wanted to show you a little bit of a problem. A week ago today, we had a tropical storm move through the area. Uh, we had wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles an hour. And unfortunately, we had quite a few apple trees on Geneva 41 rootstock. It's Geneva 41, G41, break off at the graft union during that windstorm. Now, I know G41 is somewhat brittle at the graft union when the trees are being planted. We've had problems. Did I mention it's a hot and humid day? That's why I got this goofy hat on, but what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> Keep my thumb out of the way. Anyways, um, I just want to show you what happened here at the UMass Orchard. These trees are, I don't know, third or fourth leaf. I've got Macown, I've got Sansa, and I've got a Connie, where we lost a significant amount of trees because of breakage at the Graft Union. Um, and again, it was a windstorm a week ago. We had gusts, windstorm, tropical storm, of 50 to 60 miles an hour. And you can see these trees snapped right off at the Graft Union. And I think I haven't counted them, but there's probably, oh, a good 50, 60, 70 trees that are broken off, which is not insignificant. So these trees are supported by four wires. Um, the wires are probably not as tight as they could be. There's also some fairly long branches in here. So the trees either twisted in the wind or were somewhat flattened, not flattened, but well, flattened from... Uh, a vertical a little bit and they just broke right off at the graft union. So again that's Geneva 41 rootstock. I wanted to show you the damage here and uh, my advice on that rootstock is to make sure the trees are well supported. Uh, keep the branches short so the tree doesn't uh, rock around in the wind and keep those wires tight. All right John Clements for the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Have a good day and stay cool.